Hello and welcome back to my channel Lady T. My name is Natalie and Gamer Cat is here as well. So if you hear her purr, then that's why. We are going to play the first tree. I think it looks very beautiful on Nintendo eShop. So I kind of want to see what it is all about. And I love foxes. Let's start a new game. Yes, Gamer Cat, what do you think? That loading screen is going very slowly. I agree. Okay, there we go. you awake? I thought I heard you get up. Yeah, I'm awake. Sorry, I just can't sleep. Are you thinking about, about him? Yeah, a bit. You should get back to sleep, my love. I'm fine. No, no, it's okay. What else is on your mind? <sighs> I don't know. It seems weird, but I had one of the most vivid dreams of my life. I saw a fox on a snowy mountain, just looking confused and worried. Those eyes, I can't get those eyes out of my head. She was running in the windy snow, looking for something. Do you think it has to do with, with you and what's been going on? I don't know. It was just a dream, Rachel. They're not meant to make sense. A lot's happened the past couple days, that's all. Well, if you're not going to sleep anyway, you should tell me. I want to hear. All right. Tell the story. Jim Peace. Ah, <gasps> what is he? Oh, oh. So not far from her home. She followed that path to something unexpected. Oh, my sweetie. Do we just... Is that one of her children? She couldn't stay, though. She had to find her other two children. So she took oh. that path. She followed it towards something ancient. Something with answers. Searching for any sign of her cubs. Points of light showed the way to this ancient tree. It was Guess. as if each Ooh. one had a story to tell all their own. Your control a bit funny. The land was trying to tell my story too. I felt like I was right behind no. her the whole time. Oh sweetie, you control really weird. Look at that. Eventually. There's a bird. Oh, there are birds up there. the sound that her paws make through through the snow.
We're on our way. Woo! Do you remember what my dad did for a living? Wasn't he like a lumberjack? <laughs> That's one way of putting it. If wood was a canvas, then a carving knife was his paintbrush. Even after working a 50-hour week, even after his hands were more splinters than skin, he would bring home the get nicest a piece of Alaskan weeping cedar and make me toys. That wooden train yeah, was the can. first toy I can remember, and I loved it. I just knew from a young age I was going to be a lumberjack, like my father. Um, are those lights? I think that's where we just came from. Um, I think we can get up on here. Ooh. You have interesting jumps, sir. Miss. No! It controls funny, but we'll get there. Woo! Hi, Jumpy. No. Ah. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, sweetie, what are you doing? Nice. Okay, there are lights over there, but there are also lights. Where are all the lights? Oh, and the sound of the rain. Okay, did we leave any lights behind that we can see? Yeah, somewhere here, I think. Let's just take a looky up here and otherwise we'll continue in the other direction. This is such calming music. Is there a light over there? Or is that an old light? Oh, hey! Little bunnies! I think it's something old. Right? Because that's way back where we came from. It looks like. Oh no, this is in the other direction, maybe. Okay. Oh. And then I also see some lights over there. But that can be just the snow glistening. No, it's not. Way up After there. that show and tell, I didn't tell him much anymore. He didn't know exactly what was wrong, 
but his best guess was that the toys he carved weren't cool enough. He carved me a tank and tried to tell me what it was like to be in a real tank as a serviceman. I didn't know your dad was in the military. Yeah, in the army. Ooh. The sad thing is that I'd pretty much forgotten until just now. There's so Where much was it? Oh, it's just all the way up there. I'm sorry. He knows how much you love him. You're going to see him again soon and have some closure. I'm sure. Oh, I'm not a child. And there's the tank, but a real life one. Oh, this is not the child, I'm sorry. Can we do jumpies from here? Oh, have we lived? Woo! Okay. Now we go in the other direction. Oh, look at the light. Oh, beautiful pink and blue colors. Okay, I see the other lights. Probably far from here, but... We'll get there. Oh, old stuff. Old buildings. Things that people used to be, I think. I see you two over there, but I also see something over here. Ooh, let's stay on the mountain. I love you, Foxy. You're doing really good. And the older I got, the more I withdrew. I asked myself, why talk to anybody anyway? Why bother when I'm happy by myself? I started drawing a lot, mostly animals I saw in the woods by my home. I then imagined designing my own hideouts with things like TVs and pantries full of chips and cookies. I think that idea of leaving home and drawing blueprints started my career. I found a lot of solace oh. in that. I'm not surprised, but I did the same thing, you know? There's something special about having a place to call your own. Ooh. Now look at us. Well, Oof. you count renting in an overpriced city. <laughs> it's as close as we can get for We now. count it. A little shelter or something? Jumpies! We just have to get over that hill, and then we'll get a light. Oh, I love the music. It's so calming. And there's another light on the left over there, but this one is a bit brighter, I think. Oh, it's... no, it's closer. This one. Oh, and a little... an old slide. As a kid, did you ever do show and tell in your class? Yeah, I, I think I only did a it boat. once. When I was in the fourth grade. 
You know how my life was around then. I wanted to show my class what helped pass the time and distracted me. So I brought a dozen paper cranes I had made. Mm. I think I told everyone how badly I wanted to be a bird and fly, embarrassingly enough. Don't be embarrassed. Every kid wants to fly. For me, it was another toy for my dad. A wooden boat. I remember guarding it so carefully in my hands as I walked into class. When I sat down, a group of boys immediately made fun of it. They asked which trash can I found it in, or why an ugly log was my favorite toy. When I got up, I didn't even want to tell them my dad had carved it. I said it was a joke gift my friends had given me. Kids can be so cruel. Some of them are. I shouldn't have let them get to me, but it did. It's amazing we bounced back at all. Yeah, sometimes we make some really crappy remarks that hurt other people more than we realize. I think that this is where we came from. And I'm not completely sure. Yeah, it must be. Yeah, it is. Because this is where we found our child. But did we forget something here? Or... Hello, cat. Which one of you? I don't know. Okay, this is the wall of the game. Then we need to go in the other. But I didn't see any more lights. So what do they want? We probably skipped something somewhere. Was that a wall? Yeah, okay. Okay, this is the invisible wall. Um, but game, if you want me to go somewhere, then help me out a bit. Okay, there's a light over there. I 
think. Oh, it was the sunlight. We've already been in this section. <gasps> A ball. A ball. Okay, I don't think there's a light here. I think it was just a reflection of the light. Um, okay, game. What do we do now? An old swing. car completely broken down okay I think we can continue here I think yeah we've already gone there so as long as we don't see a light and we don't have to go there Okay, all the way it goes. Just this tie game is an open world. That's amazing. Okay, that's all I needed to do, apparently. <gasps> oh, the colors! Look at them! Oh, yeah. Oh, and the music again. Oh, firework. No, I told you to jump, sweetie. Okay. There's a delay between my um, capturing the fires and my actually doing things, so. Is this a jumpy again? Yes. Okay. <gasps> no! Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. Oh, I love the colors. The snail was pretty, but this is also very pretty. It's just a little bit hard to control, but I'm not sure whether that's the delay with my device or. Oh, they are little butterflies. Okay. No! Oh, come on, game. Be a little bit more forgiving. Especially when you want me to climb up all the way here again. Oh, 
Okay. Yay, free time, just chill. Oh, we completely skipped this. Hi. Another digging spot. My teenage years were full of sketching, angst, and trouble. I wasn't Aww. popular or unpopular. Maybe just forgettable. You just her. I guess that yeah. gave me a sense of freedom. So I hung out with crazy kids, doing crazy things, even though I mostly just watched the chaos ensue. We did it all. Put fireworks in mailboxes, hide roadkill in people's garages, break windows at the barbershop in Anchorage. My dad Why? was furious, but he was so busy working, he couldn't do much to stop me from going out. I think being an adult means there's no one to stop you making hard decisions. He had to make a living, and he couldn't be in two places at once. Yeah, I realize that now. But at the time, I was sure he was more interested in growing his business than Ooh. what was going on with me. Yeah, or he felt that he that you also weren't interested in him. So the butterflies are with me now? Oh. No, the butterflies are back there. feel like this is the way forward and there were some lights back there so let's just see if that's the case or e yeah it is okay then let's first collect the lights that were left here Could just play this all day, just listen to the work music. Another late night, and my friends were over, saying how bored they were and how they had come all the way out to my house for nothing. One of them mentioned Aww. how that old, ugly beyond belief truck was still in the garage, and how we should take it for a spin. I was only 15, Please. so I kind of fought it for a while. The next thing I knew, we were careening around the mountain path, rocks spitting onto the sides of the cliff. While my dad's cringeworthy bluegrass blared out the speakers. I drove while my friends were in the back of that yellow and purple truck, throwing beer bottles and trash at anything remotely interesting. Felt like I was soaring in the air with borrowed wings. But all good things have endings. A cop outside of Eagle River pulled us over after he saw us in a bottle rocket into someone's yard. What followed was yeah. a long night of talking to disappointed adults and feeling smaller than ever. Well, I mean, you should have been a good boy. I get that you feel even smaller, but then don't take the stuff out because you know you're not supposed to do that. I don't think they were necessarily disappointed in you, but today we're most of all just scared because it could have ended very b differently. No? 
No, okay, you almost have it. Now jump, 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 jump. Okay, thank you. Nothing that I'm leaving here. No. Maybe there are some still hidden, but we're doing our best. And that's all that matters. that we're leaving up here before we have to try to get back up here when we oh look over there okay yeah that was it Butterflies up there, I think, and here as well. Oh, you give us a spin, and uh, we probably need it for that. Yes. can just walk up here. Um. No! Oh! Come on. Yay. After he drove me home from the police station, I blew up at him, saying how I never wanted to be like this him, how I was gonna be someone and leave that hick icebox for good. Ooh. He just looked forward at the yeah. road with tired eyes. I took out that bluegrass tape from the cassette deck and chucked it out the window. In my Why? sage teenage wisdom, I thought I had proved the ultimate point, but my dad had a different idea. He slammed the mm -hmm. brakes slowly bowed his head while gripping the steering wheel and finally looked at me. All he said, like it was a polite request, was, make this right. I sat there in silence, fuming, but I eventually got out and combed every square inch of the woods, muttering profanity after profanity. I found it 30 minutes later, near a small waterfall off the road. I went back to the truck, Put the wet tape back in. And sure enough, it worked. We didn't speak another word to each other the rest of the night. Wow, I knew you were a crazy teenager, but... It's hard to believe, isn't it? It surprises me, too. It's like I didn't Why really know who that kid was back then. Whee! I bet my dad thought the same thing over and over. It's almost like he was saying, make this right to himself more than to me. But there are no lights, so why are the butterflies here? No idea. Oh, 
I almost had it. Need I... Do I need all three of them? Okay. That's why they're up there. Oh, come on, you did the jump. Uh, wonky as frick. Beautiful game, but the controls are a bit wonky. Come on, ah, oh, come on, I was... Okay. Maybe you have to touch the butterflies and not the spot there on. Okay, nice. And then we have a couple more. And then you can see me jumping in the wrong direction or something and we're stuck. Okay, but now I do a Oh no, I don't have to jump because I can just walk up here and go down. Without jumping. My friends would laugh about that night and talk about how crazy it was. And I laughed along, pretending it didn't bother me. But it did. I imagined my friends growing old in the bush, unable to find that thrill in those godforsaken ice fields. It's like those mountains were a literal wall, keeping me from leaving, where all I would have to look forward to are lumber yards and evening beers. I had to climb over. That was my only goal for a long time. If there was some way I could take my love of drawing and turn it into a way of escape, nothing would make me happier. I wanted to create instead of tearing trees down. I wanted to move to the lower 48, not because I hated it there in Alaska, but I hated the idea of it. It's like all of that spite inside me had created this monster which followed me around my whole teenage years. It's I not going so to happen in game, right? To doing what others didn't expect of me. Why did I do that? There's one know. fact you're forgetting, though. If you didn't have that fire in you, we probably would have never met. You're absolutely right. Maybe the destination is all that matters in the end. But then why am I mm. awake? Why am I seeing this fox go on her journey? And why can't I stop thinking about my dad? I don't know. Okay, but we are going to leave the episode here for now. We are going to continue in the next. Thank you for watching. And I hope that you enjoyed. I think it's a very beautiful game with very relaxing music. So we're definitely going to keep playing it. Goodbye.